Okay, we're going to set up your lab and note notebooks. Um, please follow the directions as the slides come up. You might want to pause this and then do what it says to do and then move on. Okay, if you're in AP Chemistry, you'll need two for lab, two for notes. Same with CE. Organic, you'll only need one for lab and one for note because you're only a semester class. If you're setting up two notebooks, set one up for terms one and two and one up for terms three and four. Organic, depending on if you have any first semester or second semester. First semester, set it up for terms one and two. Second semester, set it up for three and four. In class, you should have picked up all the paperwork that you need to make the composition notebook. There should have been a paper that looks like this right here. You'll need to color it, each term a different color, and if you wanted to color the table of contents and lab partners, you can do that too. You'll now want to separate first and second term, cut off the top, and we'll use those tabs to set up your lab notebook. First and second term, tape them to the inside of your first term lab notebook, and tape three and four to the inside of your second term, or second semester notebook. Inside each of these notebooks on the first page, you're going to put table of contents, and that is over here. You're going to um, tape the tab on. And then you're going to put across the top um, whatever term is going to start that book. So for the first lab notebook, you're going to start it with term one. And on the second one, you're going to start with term three. You're going to put these columns across the top so that you can add in the things that you are putting in. Um, on this one, table of contents is going to be page one and two. So on page two, you're going to do the same columns, except at the top, you're going to put term two instead of term one. And put across the top all the same stuff. So, Okay, you should have received a hazard sign paper. You'll need to color it. The top one is fire, the blue one is health, yellow is reactivity, and white is special. Cut that out and, and paste it in here and put color uh, hazard sign. Okay, the safety agreement you're going to need to take and print off of the website. You'll want to make sure you print it two pages per page that you print. You're going to cut it out and you're going to put one here, one here. Then you're going to put the signed agreement here. You're also going to print out a signed agreement for me that is a full page. Make sure it's filled out and turn it in to me. This one that is a half page, you're going to also have your parents sign and you sign and put all your information right here so we can grab it real fast if something happens in lab. On this page right here, what you're going to be doing is you're going to put your lab report, um, the format. You need to make sure that you put both tabs for lab equipment and, um, sorry, just lab equipment right here. On the page before, you're going to put the safety agreement tab. On this tab, you will be given in class um, some lab equipment papers that you're going to be putting here. This is just an example right here. Yours will actually fill both pages. You'll need to make sure that you put them in there. You're going to need to tape it down one side and on the back of it so it can flip um, like it's a page so you can read both sides, unless I can get it copied otherwise, and I'm going to try and do that for you. The last page that you need to set up in your lab notebook is um, 9 or 10 and 11. On 10, you're going to put lab partners with number, name, and phone number. So you just have a column. You can write people's names down there, your lab partners, and have their phone number in case they're not in class the time that you need it or you need to finish up a lab before a lab notebook's due. Then on page 11, you're going to start lab 1.1. You don't know what that is yet. We'll fill that part in later, so don't put mine in it. Just leave a space. Next, we're going to do the note notebooks. Again, if you need to set up two, set up one for first term and second term, and the other one for third and fourth term. If you're just setting up one, like for organic, then you set it up for the terms you have me. Okay, you'll be given a page that looks like this. You're going to do the same kind of thing that you did with your lab um, tabs. You're going to color each of these a different color for every term. Um, so that you can use the tabs. Again, cut it right here across underneath second term. 
put the first term and second term taped to the inside of your first term note notebook and the third and fourth right here taped to the inside of your third and fourth term. Okay, on the inside for your table of contents, you're going to actually use four pages and I've put the top of the four pages here. But on the first page, you're going to put table of contents. You're going to do a column for notes, date, page number, topic or activity, note, points, and quiz points. And then put your table of contents right here. You'll get 20 points a night for doing your notes. So we'll give you 20 points for setting up the notebook tonight. And then the, your first actual um, flipped lecture will be next time, which is 1.1, which is in what is matter and properties and chat changes and that will be worth 20 points for you too, but I wanted to show you how to do that. On the next three page, or four pages, like page two, this is what you'll do at the top, page three and page four. Now, this is just for first term. When you get to second term, you're gonna put a new table of contents with second term there, and again, you'll do four pages just like this, and then you'll start second term. Okay, so when you get to your lecture, you're gonna put the tab over here, Make sure you can see them so they're staggered and they're easy to get to so you can look at your table of contents and quickly find your notes because you're going to be using these for quizzes and you don't want to have a hard time finding your information. This column right here that is this way of the red, I want you to use, and you don't have to write this in, but you might want to to give your, yourself a reminder on this first one. I want you to use for main ideas here. So you can use stars, this was a main idea, or you can use hash, or you can actually highlight in the body of notes what was important. And I just put that right over what I wrote. So in the body of notes. Now, in your body of notes, a lot of kids try and write down word for word. Please don't do that. Please try and use an outline form or a dash, you know, main ideas. Don't try and write down every word that I say. It would be crazy. You've got to learn to do a shorthand. Now over here on the far side, um, I want you to be able to write down any questions as you're um, taking those notes. If you come up with a question, pause the video, write your question down so you don't forget it. And when you come back to class the next day, we'll answer those questions and we'll work on the worksheets and work on labs. Now as a reminder, AP, you need to do two lab notebooks and two note notebooks, one for first semester, one for second semester. CE, same thing. Organic, you only need to do one of each. Get them all set up and bring this term's lab notebook and note notebook to class next time. See you then.